Hey guys, welcome back to Realm of Darkness. We've not been with these guys in a long time, but little Adrian is getting his little thinking skills up, which is very, very good. Uh, I did have Castle just do a bit of cleaning up and repair the dollhouse because that had been smashed for some reason. But these guys are here living in their nice little house. In the last episode of uh, Realm of Darkness, he and Nanami hit it off very well, so I'm probably going to invite her around. Maybe tomorrow for some magical training and guidance and chatting, perhaps. Are you scared of the thunderstorms? Oh, that's so sweet. Poor little Bean. Poor little Bean. I should go play with the doll's house to make yourself feel better. But I've also enacted some uh, neighborhood plans for this area. There were some ones, but I think they, I didn't think they suited the area, so I changed them. So for this neighborhood, we have tech support, which is mostly for Eden, uh, self-sufficiency, and eco-friendly appliances. So I thought that would be pretty good to have for this uh, neighborhood. These guys are very kind of forward-thinking and modern, which is all pretty good. And you are still an in oh, you're an intern. All right, when you're done with food, you can tinker at your workstation, which is up here. I might invite Nani around. These guys haven't had to spend some time together in a while, and they haven't done the woos yet, so I'll let them do the woos together. And because... Oh, you became friends with Nami. That's so cute. That's so cute. I love when they do things in their absence. <gasps> Just didn't know he's old. Dad is old. Dad has got 27 days left, which begs the question of how long does Supriya have? as well. Supriya is also going to live... I don't know why I'm getting sims that die very quickly, like Justin for example. And then Supriya who has 28 bonus days plus 155 days left. And then you have Nalani who is going to live for like a thousand years because for some reason she has like 700 days left. I'm just a little confused on the matter. But what I was thinking last night when I was... Uh, I didn't play a do video yesterday because I just wasn't feeling up to it because... I've got to go traveling at the end of the week and I'm not looking forward to it because it's a big thing that's happening and it's not something you can ignore really. But I was thinking of, um, dude, put the umbrella away. I don't know why he's got an umbrella outside in the, inside the house, but I'm not going to question it. But I was thinking about all my series and I realized I actually had good, um, I've actually got decent sort of like play styles to go through each of them. Like, Realm of Darkness is very, I can focus on all the occulty stuff. Vampire children, spellcasters, maybe aliens and stuff. Uh, Eco Boys is very, you know, rags to riches, which we like. I quite like that. I've also fixed my ladders, by the way. That's great. Uh, Empire, I get to be cheeky, do a lot of the bad sim stuff, crimes and, you know, affairs and cheek, general cheekiness and all the sort of more mean kind of things. And Paradiso gets to be wholesome family goodness of just, you know, people living their best life in the beach, in the beach life. And the Rum of Magic is just sort of my standard, my standard dream house, kind of, which I really like. Holy crap, what just... Ooh, we got a thing. What is that? Fraxium. Nice. I'm gonna pop that in your inventory. And you got cooking skill. I might have Castiel go and focus on uh, his. Definitely get him to focus on his magic, I think, as well as get his handiness up. Generic kind of things. Except I won't do handiness stuff while he's, you know, while it's a thunderstorm outside. Oh, have you got off to sleep? Oh, baby. He's so precious. He's so precious, and he's going to be a toddler for a long time because I checked his... uh days and he's actually only got 27 days because so I've not been with these guys for a while and I only played like a day with them last time if I had like if I was doing doing aging on for everyone and not just active households these guys would have aged up quite a bit yeah I'm gonna go and invite Nami over tomorrow and those guys can catch up have a bit of a chat and then in the evening uh Eden can invite uh Nani over Nami and Nani that's gonna be confusing as all heck and they can have fun. I might actually get Nani, uh, Nani to move in. I think that would be 
good for their relationship at least but also nanny is just sitting at home with her dad and his her new stepmom and a little half sister and her two little brothers and she's probably and she doesn't have a job or anything so she's probably just thinking like her life is kind of boring over there right now so i might bring her over so we can get her mixed in with the excitement that is occultic stuff plus she gets to meet you know this cute little babbleroo who has forgotten that he had a little friendo uh, by the name of Harley and Morgan and Abel. He has literally forgotten who his little friendos are. Poor Bean. Though he's going off to sleep, which is good. I'm going to have him get up, though, so he can go. And make sure he goes potty. Because otherwise they just go in the nappies and it's kind of gross. And then they don't actually learn potty training skill. And you almost done with that perfection. Are you also sick? Nope, just sore from pinching yourself. I'll at least send you off to bed then. Looks like we're in for weird weather today because it's hot and sunny and then it's going to be windy. And yeah, poor... Poor Eden's depression has sort of kicked back in. They're feeling very sad and gloomy. And they're going to be sad and gloomy for a few hours, but after they give themselves a pet talk and remind themselves that they are a fantastic little bean. And, you know, they're, they're great. They're great and original, and nobody can tell them otherwise. Oh, if it's a sad day for both of them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we got two gloomy gooses in the house today. Oh, so sad. So sad, and little Adrian is still. He's still sleepy buys for him. I might have to bring some toys downstairs for him. There's not much he can do down here in the in the downstairs area because all his stuff's upstairs. But we're gonna have him get up, and then as soon as you're done with all that, we're gonna go and give Adrian breakfast. Uh, what time do you have to go into work? Nine. <laughs> Evidently, Adrian is very excited to learn what please and thank you are. He's so adorable. Look at those little blue eyes. Also, his little like two-tone kind of face. He's just like super, super adorable. And those little pointy, those little pointy ears. And I think you can see, yeah, his tiny little fangs as well. The tiny little vampire child. He is adorable though. He's gonna, he's gonna get cuter as he grows up. I just know it. When you're done, give him potty training, and then we're gonna go and leave him upstairs to play with his toys, and we'll invite Nanami over when Eden has gone into work. They should be on hand for a promotion today. Eh, maybe not. But they should be working hard. Okay, Eden's off to work. Adrian's up here. He's, he's left to his own devices. He's gonna play dolls and play with Mr. Bear. Uh, I don't think we've given you a name, have we? I think we can name him... Oh, he's called Bearkula, but we're going to call him Mr. Bear. Just Mr. Bear for now. And in a little bit when you're done, we're going to go and invite Nanami over. Have some fun chatting with her and getting to know her. They have lost the romance, but that's because there was like a little bit there at the beginning. And then I haven't played with them in so long. He's in a row. Nami's come over. Beautiful as ever, and they're just like hitting it back off right away. Oh, she's a bookworm. That's pretty cool. And she's going outside now. Oh yeah, the weather has cleared up. It's no longer a thunderstorm anymore. I think she is going to... Where are you going? Please, for love of God, don't go near our... Uh... Please don't go near our stove. Everyone's always... She's going... God damn. Well, if she's going to make food, that's fine. She... I have no idea what just happened. She went and used that. So I bring... What is she... What is she making? What is she making and where is she going with it? We're going to have to follow her around like a very confused puppy right now. Because I am so confused as to what uh, Nanami is doing. Now she's using it on the stove. He wants to compliment her again. Adrian finds this all very fascinating. Meeting daddies. 
new friend who has decided to come over today. I think he's literally agreed with his dad. It's like, pretty lady. Which is super, super cute. He's angry though because he's hungry. But he's not eating his foodies like a good little bean. She's once again out around our tiny little vampire garden. Just picking all our flowers for some reason. I'm not sure why, but Eden will be back in a couple hours and then we're going to invite Nani about. And now Nami's leaving. Apparently the garden was more interesting for her today. And Castiel had, well, romance sparked back up. Evidently romance sparked back up, but not much happened, especially because Adrian was hanging around as well. So it doesn't want to... Well, Adrian doesn't really know his mother that much. She recognises her when he sees her, but she doesn't really come around very much. And he is currently climbing up the stairs to go to bed. So we're going to invite Nani around, I think, in a little bit. Why don't you go and build something on the woodworking? But it's apparently your tents, which you are far from. You're back and very smelly. Okay, can't have you being smelly for Nanny's visits, so into the shower you go. Uh, Eden. And then you can have breakfast, and then you can invite... Breakfast? Dinner. And then you can invite... Uh, Nanny round. And we can discuss the possibility of her moving in. Okay, Nanny is on her way over. There she is, running up, looking fabulous. We're gonna go invite her in. Be cute. Maybe do some woos and ask her, I think, to move in to the house with us. I think it'll be good for Nani to get out of uh get out of her parents' house. Get out of her dad's house. Leave some room for the twins and uh, Morgan to grow up a bit. And maybe we can see about uh Nani having an interesting career track. So we can Friendly, let's ask to join the household, I think. Start off with that. See if she's into the idea. She definitely is. Yeah, look at the size. Oh, Morgan's a child now. She grew up. Because you've got the twins, her twin brothers, and then her little sister. So it's going to be like, it's a full house situation. What are you wearing, Harmony? But she's like, I'm going to come... Uh, go live with my significant other and we'll give them 10,000 over because these guys have a lot of money so we've got a little bit of money now in the house and now Nani is part of us let's actually get a little look see into it she has that beach life aspiration which yeah she has done nothing on and she's got what relationships does she have with people she has a relationship with Dwayne though not very much her and her dad have, uh, he was a bit of a passive parent. Oh dear. She's got Adrian, Castiel, Eden, obviously. Alice, they they know each other. She's friends with Yuda. Friends with Nita. Just friends with Nita, because that never went anywhere. And there's her little brother Robin, little sister Morgan. Friends with this guy, Watson. He's apparently friends with everyone. Knows Justin, knows Willow, knows Emrys. Friends with her little brother has a you know acquaintance relationship with her stepmother best friend is with Asriel of course he is her bestest friend and her first crush oh did my yeah my first love mod it was kind of broken uh coda she's friends with coda that's nice friends with her mother she's a passive parent who's got 38 days left so she will be not long for this world ayla munch she's her friend Pierce is her friend as well. I don't know who Lara Sheehan is, but she does not get along with her. And she's aware of Caleb. Huh. Kind of interesting. Interesting little uh, friendship group she's got there. She does not need that. She doesn't have a job. Oh, she does. She's actually... Oh, she's a meter intern. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. She started a job in social media. So... Gonna let these guys move in together. I think you have a, uh, what are your traits? I didn't check those. Child of the Island, Snob, Glutton, Home, Turf. I never gave you... 
No, did it? Okay, I just never set her. I never set her settings to be by. I completely forgot to do that. Now, oh, there we go. Although Nani's actually, she's got 48 days till she's up. She's actually a lot older than Eden and Castiel. But that's because she's been aging up without me. That's cool. Alright, I think these guys, now that she's all moved in, should uh, give Eden a bit of a smooch. And then I think these guys should celebrate moving in together with some celebratory woohoos. These guys have not done the woos at all. And these two are asleep, so they won't be disturbed. But yay. I think it's nice that Nani's, you know, moved out of her family's house. She moved in with her partner. It's this beautiful house in Willow Creek. And these guys get to, you know, get to know, celebrate. Both very happy about that. And then she's going to be doing, I think Nani's going to be doing a lot of work from home stuff because she's got uh, the office here to utilize to her heart's content now. Oh, we have not done laundry. <laughs> I have noticed. Yep. Woohooing for the first time. I love that the, uh, the way the like, light is reflecting on the... Uh, on the, you can't see it, but the the roofing. I just love how cool that looks. Like, it just looks so cool. Oh, look, it's Castiel. He's up. Why are you up? Oh, you're just up to play Sims forever. Sure. Be nice to, you know, your new roommate. Who has just moved in and brightened her day. And be nice. Yeah, you have a history degree and you have... Not used it at all, have you? Just be nice to Nani. Perhaps she could ask, uh, give you some relationship advice, maybe? I know, maybe Castua tries a second go with Nanami today. I think it could be good for him. I think... I like, see, I like Arya and I like Nanami and I think Castor and Nanami could actually make a good pairing. Alright, you can get your movement up to level 2 by going up here so you can go and babble to Mr. Bear. You can get your walking movement up. I think you can potty still have a long way to go, but as long as we get these ones going up, should be fine. Look at him toddle. It's so cute because as soon as he gets to level 3... He'll be able to start like walking a little bit faster and climbing upstairs faster. And then he just won't be able to stop. But I think yeah, we'll bring Nani over again. We'll have another chance to try and make things try and make things work. I think Castiel would like that. Like he likes Arya and Arya was like amazing. But I think because of the way the dynamic seems to work, he doesn't think he can be with Arya. Very much though he's taken all the steps needed to go and raise their son. But I think Nanami might be more his speed in terms of a relationship. For one, she's like the same age as him, whilst Arya is a good 300 years older. Also, how to tell Nani is definitely Mako's daughter. Even in just a regular swimming pool, she has a snorkel. She has no qualms though, because she loves her snorkel. Well, she is zooming along, doing the, doing some energized laps, which is all good. I mean, she is. Do you have work today? You do. Yeah, you and Eden are both gonna go into your respective jobs today. I actually forgot to send Eden to socialize, so I'm gonna need them to do that today. So long as they stop hitting themselves in the face with the hammer, Castiel is being a very good dad. Like, I feel like he's he's been, he's t sort of become the parent where they had dreams and goals uh, and like sort of like a plan, like he went to university and got like a history degree, but when he found out he had a kid, he's just sort of just like, all those plans can go on hold for now because this little bundle of joy is the most important thing in my life right now. 
Okay, Nani and Eden are both heading to work now. We're going to go and put a brand new outfit on. And see about inviting her. Nami over again and seeing if we can give it another shot. Go invite her over. And your communication skills going up nicely. Level threes. So proud of my little bean. Let's have him do sim shape. Nami is here. Again, still beautiful. We'll invite her in. I think maybe we'll try and sit her down on a couch. Let's try and go in for a little bit of a romance. Let's start off nice and light. Also, apparently Eden is always having to ask for help at their job. Apparently they have no idea what they're doing. So they're always just like, what do we do? It seems to be going a bit better this time around. It's definitely easier, I think, for him to connect with someone who's not 300 years old and has more knowledge than him. And Nami combined. I feel like a pickup line will, will will be very bad, but we can give it a sh Oh, this is a lot more successful this time around. A lot of good compliments and quotations. She's going on the goddamn computer. Just continue with the compliments. It's a slow sort of burn, but it's a good burn. It's a good burn. Maybe they can move this outside where the weather's a bit nicer. There's couches out there. There's also a hot tub. I really love like attempting to flirt with her. It's quite nice. It's quite cute, actually. He just has to do like little things, and she just like absolutely loves it. Like in cutting it in with a conversation, jewel for ingredients not something we should try. We can. Try the smooth recovery because I think we kind of fudged a line. Like, I think the pickup line works, but like something else didn't work. But she liked that. It's a very sort of work in sort of relationship. It's very, it's doing very well, which I'm very happy about. You can try the slow dancing because that does give you, that gets you into such a flirty mood. Ooh, he wants to kiss Nanami. Which, you know what, that's absolutely fine. We just can, we just gotta see if he can uh, get the option to impress with video game prowess. I keep seeing it, I'm kind of wondering if it'll work. Nani came back from work. So I'm just gonna let her update her social media status. I don't know what they did there. I think that was the video game prowess and I think it worked. First kiss option is there. Your kid's fine. <laughs> he's okay. I think he's... Yeah, he just needs some attention. But I'm hearing the music, which is a good thing. If you don't hear the music and they try the first kiss thing, it, that means they're going to get rejected. And I know because that happened to one of my sims the other... Uh, yes, was it yesterday? I was playing with, uh, I think, one of my trap In my trash man save. Create a garlic braid. Interesting whim. Oh, <laughs> it's right there. He's just, he's already thinking. He's just like, I want a baby with this woman. Cast, you'll know. You've got one baby already. I feel like that would be such a bad idea. Hot tub woohoo's that? I'm, I will let them do the hot tub woohoo's because it's not something I've seen them do yet. Yeah, and he kissed her first before asking. Uh, as as opposed to with Aria, where it was the drunken fling, then he gets the goodbye. <laughs> and Nami's going off to, yeah, she's gone off to take a nap because she's a tired little bean. I think you're level three, nice. And these guys are getting into the hot tub for some fun times. Which, I don't think we've seen hot tub woohoos happen in this series yet. <laughs> But they're in the hot tub. No one's around to see this. And Nami. Nani. Nami and Nani. This is going to get so confusing. 
Nani had the sense to leave when she probably saw them through the window going outside. Because, yeah, if anyone's in here on the computer, they can see everything that's going on over there. Which is very, very awkward. Whilst they're just having fun in the hot tub in the backyard. You're up, my little bean. He's he's fine. He's fine. I think we'll say goodbye to Nami when we're done. And then we'll go and give him, give Adrian, lots of cuddles and attention, I think. And then I shall finish this episode here. I think. Well, they had a lot of fun. I think, yeah, is she getting ready to go? No, she's just getting out. Okay. I'm going to finish this episode here. She can go and do whatever she wants. I'm going to go and send him up to go and give her... Give cuddles to baby. Because he hasn't had any attention. He's been up in his room all day. So we'll give him lots of... We'll give him lots of snuggles, I think. You can pop that down. No! Oh my god, she's pregnant with a girl! Oh god. Castiel has the strongest sperm, I swear. He is like... Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> He's got two kids now with two different women. But this one's going to be a full spellcaster as well, because uh, she's a spellcaster like him. But Jesus Christ, Castiel. Every time he falls in love with a woman, he has to immediately get her pregnant, apparently. But you know what? I said most of these pairings were getting two, so Castiel, you get two kids. Maybe one more with Nami if you two stick it out. We're going to have to bring her in now because I can't have her... Because I'm going to need to keep an eye on her. So, Jesus, that was just all I needed. Don't go near that! Oh, they got quite the relationship though, so I'm going to... I'm gonna have to ask her to join the household quickly, cause now we got we got hot tub hot tub woohoo baby, we got hot tub woohoo baby to contend with, as well. That's just okay. Now I'm definitely uh uh finishing this episode here. Castiel is I don't know what to call Castiel. He is the he's the most virile of the Ember Sharp uh men apparently. Uh, more so than Emrys. Emrys was also quite uh, virile. Morgan managed to have... Em Emrys had six kids. But Castiel has apparently had... Has got two. He's got a son. He's got a vampire son. He's going to get a spellcaster daughter. But okay, finishing this episode here. Nani moved in. And is apparently a little bit of a social media girl. Which is cute. Which is cute. And it's just wolfing down those that little fruit salad there. And Castiel just got Na Nanami pregnant. Which is... Uh, impressive. Seriously, one time with Arya and one time with Nanami. Like, my... Try my, like, it wasn't even try for baby, it was just general woohoo. My try for baby chances is very low. It's very low because Morgan Emrys did so many. Is it my pregnancy? Yeah, my risky woohoo percent is 5%. So I don't understand how it is that Castiel has fucking Superman sperm. He's got Superman sperm. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't exactly a PG channel anyway. <laughs> but I'm going to finish this episode here. I might have to go and do Rumble Magic, then come back to Rumble Darkness because babies. And also I want to make sure they give this kid a proper witchy name. Uh... But that was, oh, something. That was something. This gonna be, man, talk about Rumble Darkness. Castiel loves his occultic children, apparently. And Adrian's now got a little sister. That's gonna be a little half-sister, to be precise. But thank you guys so much for watching that craziness. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye now.